Last year, Toyota famously said that there was not enough lithium in the world to make electric cars. In fact, they said there was only enough lithium for every car to have a one kilowatt hour battery, which was, well, minuscule. However, it turns out they were incredibly wrong. In the last 12 months, 40 times as much lithium as was mined was discovered. 40 times. The world has more lithium than we could ever possibly know what to do with. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you're not a member of the channel, it'd be great to have your support. And I do have a new members video up. I'll have another one up tomorrow about an, well, a certain interview I did with Sandy Munro will be on the members channel. So Subscribe, click the link in the description, and yeah, become a member. It'd be great to have your support. Hey guys, I've got uh, a, an EcoFlow Delta II right here, and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months, many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. What's going on with lithium? Is there really enough lithium? Well, there's now twice as much lithium in the world as was assessed in 2018. That's according to the annual mineral commodities summaries from the US Geological Survey. And in fact, this was done around three months ago. There's actually even more lithium than I'm about to share with you, but I'll, I'll share with you the official numbers first. 40 times as much lithium was discovered in the last 12 months than was actually mined out of the ground. But this wasn't unique. This is happening every single year. Across 2018 to 2023, 71 times more lithium was discovered than was actually mined. 71 times more was discovered than was mined gives you a good idea of just how much lithium there actually is. Dave Jones, the Global Insights Program Director at LinkedIn says that the lithium reserve upgrade alone plus 10 MT or megatons is enough to make 800 million Tesla Model Ys, 800 million, right? The average Tesla Model Y has around 12 kilograms of lithium. Gives you a good idea of how much lithium is in your EV battery. So average EV battery has around 12 kilograms of lithium. Not really that much, is it? So if we have enough lithium to manufacture 800 million Teslas and possibly even more than that, considering new ways of mining and producing better quality lithium and the mining extraction process is far better than what it used to be, then you would think, right, that maybe that's not enough lithium for the world. But actually it is, and it's far more than we could actually need. Here's some more numbers though first. Well, before I explain what I'm talking about, we actually have enough lithium to make 5,263 one gigawatt solar battery systems, which are massive. These would produce 24 hour electricity of 45,000 terawatt hours, equal to 1.5 times today's global electricity demand. In other words, if the entire world just use lithium batteries to run all of our power, we have 50% more power than we actually need to do that. Now, of course, you're probably aware of the fact that many storage batteries today are not made using lithium. They're made using sodium. And that will number will drastically increase because sodium batteries will soon become much cheaper than lithium and do pretty much the same job. Argentina and Bolivia resources are now assessed way above Chile. And since 2018, the US has been revised up, overtaking both Chile and China. There are eight diverse countries now with massive resources of lithium. Lithium prices though have collapsed and many people have been baffled by this. I've reported on this numerous times. If they do rise, it's not because there's a shortage of lithium in the ground or above it for that matter. What about nickel and cobalt, right? Some lithium batteries use nickel and cobalt. Lithium ion phosphate don't and that's the fastest growing type of battery in the world right now. Uh, but NMC batteries, which are often used in electric cars, they do use nickel and cobalt. 
the USGS didn't change the reserves in 2025 compared to 2024. But um, considering lithium ion phosphate batteries and sodium are probably within five years going to overtake NMC batteries, it's not really that relevant. Already around 50% of new EV batteries are lithium ion phosphate and the number is increasing every year. 90% of grid storage batteries were LFP in 2024, with some being sodium ion and some of them being iron flow batteries. Lithium resources are now estimated at 115 million tons. That means 230 years of demand. And that's assuming we don't discover any more. And it's also assuming the world continues to use lithium as its primary batteries type, which is probably pretty unlikely considering the rise of sodium. Now, this is enough for what the IEA steps shows in 2030 will actually give us 68 years of batteries. And it would also assume that we never again recycle lithium batteries, which is obviously insanity. Of course, lithium batteries are being recycled because they're worth a lot of money. So here's the thing. The reason we have way more lithium than we could ever possibly need is because of the circular economy. It's cheaper to recycle a lithium battery, remove the lithium from the battery, than it is to mine for new lithium. Quite a bit cheaper, in fact. Keep in mind the lithium in your lithium ion batteries in your home, your battery storage, or your electric car, it's refined high quality lithium, which is more expensive than other forms of lithium. It has to go through a refining process. So that means that battery, the battery companies in future will cease to, by about 2050, cease to use lithium, which has been mined. We'll have a purely circular economy for batteries. It could actually happen quicker than that. That's based on estimates from a couple of years ago, assuming that most batteries would be lithium, lithium-based batteries. But by 2050, they probably won't be. It's more likely that sodium batteries will represent well over 50% of all batteries being used. And other chemistries are emerging as well. So as you can see, Toyota was um, completely wrong. We have way more lithium than we could possibly know what to do with, and that's today. Our lithium reserves discoveries are being, new discoveries are being made every single week, adding to this total. There is more than enough lithium in the world for every single car to be electric. And there's plenty left over to make mega batteries to support renewable energy in every country on the planet. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.